Change it to Uni Rinko there, Terrence, and you'll be good to go. All right, let's take a look how we can. Uh, we just had a seven point run in the S&P. And this tradable window right here. How can we take advantage of this small Rico size on trading this seven point window of opportunity? The entry was 5207. Got as high as 14 and three quarters. Almost eight points. We can do, we have two Rinko sizes in the trade room. You can set this up in your own computer. We have our standard large Rinko that we use. This is a 12020 Rinko, Uni Rinko. Besides that, you can cut the Rinko size in half because we know Rinko size. If it's a 12020, there's 20 ticks in between the high of this bar type to the low of the bar type. I can cut the Rinko bar size in half to lower my stop. So, for example, I cut this in half to an Uni Rinko 11010. Bar type is Uni Rinko cut to 11010. Now what you've done, you can lower your stop in half and still get major opportunities. Because the entry over here on the larger Rinko size was 5204 and three quarters. The high was almost 5215. So you had a 12 point potential S&P point run on the larger Rinko size. But how can we enter off the smaller Rinko size for smaller stops? How can we get this win of opportunity on this almost eight point S&P run that happened? What you can do is this. You set up two Rinko sizes, the 12020, we have a set up on your workspace already. You can cut that Rinko size in half, do a 11010. And here's what you want to do. Once this oscillator down here, we like using this oscillator below with these zone breakouts. If this oscillator is pegged and it's above 100, more importantly, with this Rinko size, if it's pegged at 123.81, If it's pegged at 123.81, which it was from this level where that vertical bar is until this level. So this is your window of opportunity to look for from here to there is your window of opportunity of a strong position in the market. It's pegged at 123.81. That's your strongest position. You can visually see it because you can see we broke out above the 100, did a little cup and handle and it started flatlining. You can see when we're at 123.81. It's pretty easy to visually see it when you start flatlining. If you are flatlining on the 120.20 in a strong position, this is your opportunity, window of opportunity to look for entries off this smaller Rinko size over here. So if you're just taking a trade off the larger Rinko size, the entry give you an entry at 52.04 and a quarter, which ran as high as 52.14 52, and three quarters. But that's a 20 Rinko bar. So 20 Rinko bar, there's 20 ticks in between the size of these Rinko bars. You're gonna have to have, gonna have, to have going in with a 20 tick stop minimum, right? What we can do is look at the smaller Rinko size though and find entries. And here's how you do it. If this is a 11010, right? Half the Rinko size, then our stop is going to be in half <clears throat> because the high and low of this Rinko bar is 10 ticks. So what we can do is we want to wait until this market's in a strong position for buying or a weaker position of selling. If it's in a strong position, when it's, which it started at 832.52. So 
So at 832.52, it started into a strong position. Back to this level, 832.52. So 832.52, this is when your Renko was starting in a stronger position on your 120.20. That's when the market is in the strongest push up. So since that's the strongest position in this, I call this the window of opportunity. This window of opportunity will give us breakout buys to look for. We had two of them. Your zone breakout here your zone breakout there. So you had two windows of opportunity into a stronger position. The reason being is that the market is in a stronger position off your larger Renko size. So we're looking for the market to what? The market to get marked up. We're anticipating this market to get marked up in the stronger position off a smaller Renko size. Once it gets in a strong position, let's look to position ourselves on taking advantage of, it, advantage of it on a smaller Renko size. All right, really good way to do it. So right now, we are in a stronger position again. We're in a stronger position. So as long as it stays in a strong position and we get another breakout, this would be another great breakout to look for. But what you want to see if we get a yellow pull in over here on a zone breakout, we want this to stay at 123.81. We want it to stay right there. We do not want it to move. We want to hold. And then we're going to look for the zone breakout to happen off the smaller Renko size. All right. Now that's how you can use a macro point of view, a macro chart going into a micro chart. Yesterday, play yesterday's live video. Yesterday we did a live video on the zone breakdowns. We have a live video on uh, just play yesterday's video. There's a live video on back-to-back -back zone breakdown trades and what we're looking for. Okay? All right, so this would be the next breakout. We're looking for if this stays in a stronger position. We're going to look for a breakout at uh, 42 and 3 quarters. Are we in a tradable gap at 42 and 3 quarters? Yes. Look at market profile. Market profile, I got a big tradable gap. Look at my tradable gap where my target is this morning if I break out at 14 and 3 quarters. My target on this breakout is 52.34. I got 19 S&P point potential run. 19 S&P point potential run if I can break out because I'm in a gap. The next big gap that we want to watch out for today, we got a big breakdown possible in the S&P, right at 51.76 and a quarter from yesterday's low value area. That's the big breakdown. That's my two to four hour market profile breakdown. So this is your big tradable gap here this morning on the breakout. Here's your big tradable gap to the downside. 
So if we can break out, we have a buy setup coming in a stronger market to the upside as we speak. And my target is 52.34. I'm at a big tradable gap right now. Look at this gap in the market. Market profiles work for 39 years. It looks at all the what market participants submitted? in the whole entire market. It lets us know where the targets are for the day on these potential runs. 